Good, uh, Bundy, how are you, mate? Good, good. That's good, that's good. When are you going, are you going over to TT tomorrow? That's the hui on the thirtieth. That's the trustees that go. The the it's to uh, uh, sack the tr trustees over on the other side on the Waitangi Marae. Okay. Well, we're, we're at uh, a Kaiko day tomorrow evening, but uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, well, well, I'll come up there after the hui. Okay. I'll come up there because I'm bringing my beds up and me and Desmond coming. So, so where, where are you going to be in Kaiko? Are you got a meeting there, have you? Yeah, at yeah, yeah, 5 o'clock. Okay, 5 p.m. So after the hui, we're going to shoot straight up there? Yeah. Uh, and, and, and because this is a sort of a very, uh, uh, no woman uh, invited to this one. No, that's okay. That's your court, so we're going to be there. Uh, and, and I'll just bring some things along and catch up with what's going to happen at uh, Waitangi. But really... Yeah. Really, it's um, Titi Fai, uh, Kingi, and uh, oh, oh, um, what's her name? Um, um, Kingi's cousin, uh, Melehora, uh, Taurua. That they're the ones that are putting on a trust meeting to get rid of the trust off the land. That that's what that who is. And yeah, no, we're not going to get involved with it. Yeah, no, don't, don't. No, um, I'll tell you what happens there because I'm going to. Uh, go, got to go straight in there with the title so, okay. for that block to clear it for us to use. Yeah. Uh, um, we'll, we'll be at Porto Yeah. You know where that is in Kaikoua, eh? The, the hall the, where he, we had the meeting there. Yeah, where we had the meeting yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, I know where it is there. But okay. uh, the, the main thing I wanted to tell you is that it's your parliament, parliament from, from now on that I'm, I'm more interested in. That that part that you've got to that's for the whole country, eh? Yeah. That that's what I'm 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 fashioning now on on, yeah, on the legal documents with with money. Money, you'll be DA. Uh, I hope so. Oh. Uh, I know that I know that um, uh, Hilary and I will be there. Oh, so good. We, yeah. Well, so yeah, that he, yeah 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 yeah. So. so we'll be Five o'clock, well, we've got that. We'll, we'll go straight up after Waitangi is here. How, how, how long does it take to get there from Waitangi? About, it'll take you about uh, three quarters of an hour. Oh, that all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know it is. I know it is. Yeah. Um, so, we'll, we'll see you there then. All right then, John. Okay, okay, buddy. No Bye. Bye. There you go. Um, so... Uh, well, I'll just finish this video. Today is uh, uh, Thursday, the 29th of June, 2017. I'm just talking to Bundy. <coughs> and so we'll be in um, Waitangi tomorrow, uh, Titi Marae, uh, with uh, Kingi's um, Hui, to sort the land titles out on that block, um, the TB3 block and the Marae block. Um, I've got the titles, I'm going to take them up with me. And then the other hui they're having that evening in uh, Kaitaia, Kai, Kaikohi, um, will be at 5 o'clock, so we'll be at that as well, to go and address that. So you heard me say to him that he's uh, the parliament, and that's in order, uh, as far as I'm concerned, with the flag. Um, so, um, I'm getting organised today to travel up in the morning and uh, deal with the matters. Um, we're talking a lot of issues that are happening in Britain just yesterday, just for your notice, that Theresa May has now um, made a deal with uh, Ireland as Ireland and for one billion. Uh, for uh, um, their deal on the government uh, supply and confidence to prop her government up and she couldn't do it without somebody, one of the other parties. So she's picked the DUP party, the Democratic Union party, uh, as her ally. And so that falls right into our hands with this flag. And St. Patrick, the eight-point star that I'll refer to, 
as the uh, rent chief uh, in the county courts, sheriff, uh, with um, the commerce side of King William III. <coughs> there is a pattern emerging here of how she's uh, been caught right in the middle of the way Westminster is run and she has uh, brought out from the Pandora's box the court which is the highest court in the world that created all this commerce, the Bank of England and also the Navy as being the uh, Lord of the Sea that took this flag around the world from Westminster Magistrate Court in Westminster City on the other side of London, not exactly London, but Westminster next to Trafalgar Square and Buckingham Palace. This is the top tier of where we are with the law as the other partner to that magistrate court which is a living man is the one with the box full of documents that walks into the court being a lawyer or barrister or a magistrate himself, the captain on a ship. In our case it's the captain on a ship of Admiralty from Waitangi Marae which is what this hui is about. Tomorrow the trustees, everything is trust born out of this Admiralty Court, the Magistrate Court above all the other courts, the Magistrate holds the power of land and possessions of a king. Uh, so um, um, just let you know that Theresa May has given Ireland one billion pounds and it's not going to Northern Ireland with Sinn Féin party uh, it's going, uh, he's the Catholic, he's Catholic and um, uh, King James side of the monarch that got booted out of Westminster and it's still King William III and the Protestant Catholic, Protestant, uh, not Catholic, Protestant on the Irish, Irish side of St. Patrick. He's an Irish but he was born a Catholic in uh, <coughs> uh, Rome, but came to England where they constructed this Westminster. So I'm saying the uh, politicians, about nine of them, that made up the shortfall of 300 votes or something, uh, of what uh, 360 votes of what uh, Theresa May was short of, they filled that void gap and so each of those ministers got a hundred million to prop them up for two years. So they got a billion dollars, for, a billion pounds for two years and it's to be administered in Belfast. It just so happens that Downpatrick County is St. Patrick himself buried memorial title to this flag and all its commerce. And that's why she's picked there because they have nowhere to go. And she wants to claim it rather than King William the Third claiming it in Brussels and Netherlands. You see, this is how it works. King William the Third and King William the Fourth created the Bank of England and the Pound Note and the Commerce and the Admiralty from their brains in Dutch, uh, which is a mixture of Holland, uh, Netherlands and Brussels, uh, Belgium. So, but they do not have the authority that came and was put together in Westminster. So those Germans and Dutch, like politicians mixed up in Westminster, created all the patent rights, copyrights, documents, legal 
instruments that made all commerce right through the world is this flag. That's who we are. As a Sedicaid Trust turning up with this flag to claim that title of inheritance as the captain of the ship. And so, because it's Belfast, that's where my ancestor, uh, Rebecca, or Rebecca Cosgrove, came straight from there, straight to the East Cape, to the Moai land blocks at that time. They were native. No such thing as Maori in that time. And we're looking at 1831, St. Mary's Church Tiki Tiki, as being the registrar of births, deaths and marriages, title to the native land that I'm talking about here, that our claim to this flag and the St. Patrick go together inside Westminster Parliament and Government and the Navy. <coughs> <coughs> Magistrate Court, Lieutenant William Simons and this one Moriori, Manukau Chief, Tira Waikato, Farahere, Here, Manukau, put together native title in 1820 to 1830 period before King William became the King of Britain, UK, and Britain, Scotland, Ireland, England, Northern Ireland. So now we have um, um, <coughs> King William III on one hand as being the creator of all these instruments. We have Scotland, the Freemasons in Edinburgh being the magistrate court with Te Rawaikato, Whare, Here, Here, Manukau, Chief, Native, remember Moriori is a country in Reikohu, they call Chatham Islands, in just outside of New Zealand, as separate from New Zealand. So there are those two, the Lieutenant, 23rd Regiment, Navy Lieutenant, is the Magistrate Court himself, the person. The man, British, and the native man. Those two men put this private contract together inside that magistrate court. And that's what I'm talking about, the native title. <coughs> At 1820 to 1830, and then King William legislated it through Westminster. It was already a British title to do what the British want to do with it, while they sold land in New Zealand on that title before 1830. So, 1831, the St. Mary's Church were connecting up the dots of who we are to go and claim as a second party to our first party king. <coughs> I'm saying king as in plural, King George III, his son King George IV, King William IV, the other son, and King Ernest Augustus I, the other son. Those four kings in this corner of the flag, the little cross, makes up those four kings. And so we have a live King Ernest Augustus V, 63, or 64, 63, <coughs> who is our monarch on our legal documents as an financial investment interest in the claims that we make. We nominate him or petition him into Westminster to replace the Queen as the head of state. She's not the head of state of New Zealand. She's not the head of state of New Zealand because she's gone into the EU Parliament as a threat against the national interests of British people and also us here, the Paramount Chiefs, the partner to the King. So all I want to say is Bundy, 
is that paramount chief to fill that position with Manahi being the Moriori for the Manukau family, the same family, the Mohini, the old names, the Mohini, the Parapara and the Manukau are the three names I've chosen and they take that position of Te Rawaikaro Whare Here Here Manukau's title through all the native countries in the world. And Bundy, what I just got off the phone just now, he takes the Cook Island title, James Cook title, and also the Tahitian title. Uh, not the Moai title is our own Wānoa at the East Cape on our land bluff at Te Pito. And Moko Nui, you can see Desmond got the Moko on his face, that's the Moko and the Nui, the large face, big face, to Rapa Nui, big shine. Sun, Ra, those titles are on our land block, quite separate. They are there with the Moriori, <coughs> uh, Mohini, Parapara, title, right there, um, uh, uh, in our family. So we're putting those two down there with the church, the St. Mary's Church of Rapataka or C A R R equals K A A on that side at that time of 1831 to claim that native title that's been a blueprint for the birth certificates, birth deaths and marriages in Britain in that magistrate court Serge Trust. We're claiming the Serge Trust on that basis of fact, evidence of citations on this video uh, today. So I'll finish off by saying that Theresa May has calculated as being elite to have chosen Belfast of our family of the immigrants that came here on that Admiralty ship of magistrate legal instruments of title to this land um, in our family. And so that she said that they don't have to go to the World Court because she said she has her own court to deal with matters in the EU Parliament without their influence or power over her. In fact, she's walking out on them outright because she now knows we're coming up with the flag. The language has changed, the position has changed <coughs> in the Parliament to backpedal straight back into the Magistrate Court, past the High Court, past the Supreme Court, doesn't come close when it comes to finance and the money, the gold, and all the prized positions of a king belongs to its partner, second partner. She is a third party to a two-party private contract of Admiralty inside a Magistrate Court, locked up forever until we change it. So that's what I wanted to say to Bundy, get your parliament ready, because that's his parliament for the land. We're setting up the Maui, Crown, Federal State, Commonwealth Government of the World <coughs> in Auckland on Cook Street. After we season, after seizing the Titi blocks, TB3 blocks and the Titi Marae blocks, <coughs> I'm expected tomorrow to hand over the uh, Rick Warren for possession and control over the land, that land right there. The same as President Duterte has done in the Philippines where the gold is missing from our trust, the Queen Victoria Trust. He's put his writ warrant 
which is British, by the way, the same under this flag. Anything British is this flag. It's the British flag of this Magistrate Court, Admiralty, Lord of the Sea. Title, contract. Everything, contract. Commercial, trading, bank, flag, contract. So now you can see the penny drops in the puzzle is more than solved without going into a court. They have no case to answer or to defend because you now know what all this corrupted fraud was about. It was about this flag and who's using it is going to end up in that court in front of us. So that's all we want to say, uh, Mohi, uh, I mean uh, Manahi. <coughs> uh, we'll come and see you um, in uh, uh, Kaikoi. Uh, I think you're in Kaitaia, but I'll check out before we go. And we'll come and see you uh, if you're not at the meeting in uh, Kaikoi with uh, uh, Te Porahau. He's a good man, but um, we're going to line up and take our positions on the world stage. So to you, Poraho, Te Poraho, uh, Ruka, uh, this one's for you. I'm going to go along and do my job as the Maui Powerhouse Bank. And that's really the British side to look after the commerce and all the prized positions of a king. I'll go there to make sure King Ernest Augustus takes his place or his son, the um, um, Prince Regent, Ernest Augustus, uh, 33 years old, old enough to be a king. If his father doesn't take the position, we're going to make sure the son takes it up. Uh, by default of the Queen abandoning the ship of Admiralty flag in this business to a contract. Remember, I'm saying it's a third party outside of that that has a problem. And the trustees in New Zealand has that problem facing these paramount chiefs now. Bundy and Hillowini being the uh, paramount chief of his Immigrant, Clark family with an E on the end. C L A R K E. <coughs> Clarker, Clark. Uh, so he is the main uh, man of the partnership with Bundy being a paramount, two paramounts of equal status is to a king. So that's what paramount means. It means the equal status of a king to make decisions on this land, not the rest of the world. So I'm going as for the rest of the world, where this flag went, that no one knows, but <coughs> Britain and us being on the Moriori side. That's Malahi and I, uh, place to take in the Magistrate Court uh, in uh, Edinburgh, where Prince Philip just shared his Skin as Commander in Chief of the Navy of this Admiralty flag. You see, he's just shared it right just just recent, this last month, and resigned. And the Queen has already resigned her position, and Prince Charlie is sitting in the throne, taking all the duties because she's 90 and ready to face us in the Magistrate Court. So a lot of things are going to happen um, from tomorrow and you'll hear about it uh, when we get back. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice day. We'll see you later. Bye.